Ah, so this is how Legolas shoots multiple arrows and never misses. He's a magic archer. Now I get it. This vocation is one of the best. An incredible basic attack and overpowered maester skill and quality healing and damage skills on top. Let's go. We've got a vocation guide for every vocation except the warfare, which is coming very soon, but I've made a playlist that contains all of these vocation guides if you want to go back and watch them if you've missed any. So how you unlock the magic archer, you'll get it from an elf down in the volcanic island. Now you'll initially run into her husband as soon as you reach the volcanic island if you go down the south route of Batal. All the way down the bottom, there's a cave you need to go through to actually get here. The dwarf will be on the main road. He'll give you a quest and essentially you just need to follow his quest line all the way to the very end at the volcanic island camp and his wife will then give you the magic archer vocation and at the same time she should give you the maester skill if she doesn't you may need to like give her some gifts or just like follow her around until she talks to you and gives it to you but she should give you the maester skill at the same time so the magic archer as a vocation can be played in a couple of ways you've got both offensive skills and really support healing skills that you can use this and the quality of its basic attack gives you so much flexibility in combat to really succeed in multitude of ways. Now that basic attack is either pinpoint valley as a wide range attack so you can target like uh, more enemies at a wider radius or rivet shot which is a tighter radius and locks on a little bit faster but it's harder to target multiple enemies. Personally I would just use rivet shot as it is like the most powerful seemingly and it locks on faster which is the main focus here and you can still hit multiple targets if that's your aim but for the most part part here you don't really need to as it does just shred through enemies on its own it's probably one of the best basic attacks in the game and because once you've upgraded it with tracker's sight you can then hit even more arrows that go out all at once and they always heat seek as well which is part of the reason why it's so good is that you can heat seek these onto the weak points onto enemies right so you're always hitting weak point with all of these arrows all at once it has great burst potential because of that the play style otherwise is very similar to just the standard art right like you'll be in the back line more or less you'll be throwing out arrows to either heal or damage enemies with a various amount of elemental types which you can then imbue with your bow to deal those elemental damages as well so lots of flexibility here and not a whole lot to manage in terms of stamina management as you will be using rivet shot a whole lot and then using your skills supplementary but your skills are actually quite quality here and speaking of those skills let's cover the main ones that you want to use sagittate avalanche conjures and fires a multitude of magical arrows that can be focused focused on a single target or a single point. This is like kind of like a souped up version of your basic attack, right? Like it has really great burst damage, especially once you charge it all the way to maximize the amount of arrows that goes out. I really like this to burst down targets on their weak points. Arctic Bolt fires a giant clump of ice. Now you want to hold this so the ice gets fully charged so then it's a higher, like, like larger piece of ice. This is a massive stagger, which when fully charged will almost knock over over any large enemy that is off balance or it will at least put them off balance if they aren't actually off balance yet really good damage potential as well if you hit weak points can really do more damage than i was expecting it to do considering the huge amount of stagger that it actually does i also tinkered with a lot of the other damage spells but they feel a bit more situational and probably a little more personal preference right like ricochet seeker launches a bunch of magical arrows in the air depending on how long you hold it for really good in caves because they all ricochet off like all the cave walls it does heaps of damage here but outside of caves it's kind of average flame fang arrow will charge a magical flame arrow that will explode on impact this is cool because you can like control the arrows trajectory and like make it land exactly where you want but it does slow down the pace of this class because you've got to wait for that arrow to land right like the whole time you're in that animation like aiming the arrow before it lands you're not actually doing anything else and there's sort of other options you can be doing sedative bolt will put targets to sleep especially if you hold it to charge it for longer like you may as well just kill the target honestly like like for the most part the candescent orb actually do like this fires an orb of searing flame that illuminates the area and causes targets to catch flame now we can stick to targets as well like if you hit them with it it'll like track them around but once it sets them on fire it does like that damage over time effect and you can definitely run this as like a set and forget like you can sort of like throw this at the start of combat make sure it hits them hopefully it sets them on fire and then you can deal the other damage types 
you could then also rather than running a damage slot for the other skills run some of the really good support skills i do like life taker arrow which loses an arrow hex with magic that saps the health of hostile targets in a line of fire and grants it to allied pawn so it's a heal that also damages enemies and you could run a bartizan which is a barrier on allies that blocks incoming damage and dealing damage back to the attacker when it hits them so both really good options but a lot of personal preference in those other couple of skills the other skill that you absolutely have to run is the ultimate skill martyr's bolt which fires an ultimate magical bolt in exchange for a temporary decrease to your max health so you will lose max health while this is charging like the loss gauge goes down but the amount of damage that this does is absolutely obscene and you really should be running this if you are playing the magic archer right you need to be careful about your usage this isn't like a ultimate skill that you can just spam as much as you like because it takes down your maximum amount of health until you do like have an actual rest at a camp or an inn etc but the amount of damage it can do especially on knockdown targets is absolutely insane and it's both aoe like really good in group scenarios or individual like funny little story here i was doing a side quest where i needed to help this individual like view a griffin and like they wanted me to extend the fight as long as possible because they were like you know wanted to observe the griffin right and i was like cool no worries and i just like put this skill in my bar and I was like oh I'll give it a crack and it just like wiped the griffin immediately <laughs> like so it's it's really good it's an incredible skill that I highly do recommend using the core skills here you obviously want to get them all a couple of ones to make note of is protracting arrow so anytime you use one of these weapon skills that have elemental effects like fire ice and lightning it'll then imbue your normal attacks with that element for a period of time so think about that when you're say hitting enemies with weaknesses use that arrow type and then use your basic arrows because it'll be imbued with that as well tracker sight absolute mass decreases the maximum amount of lock on targets with pinpoint volley or rivet shot so the more arrows it'll fire obviously the more damage the augments for the magic archer are probably better from some of the other vocations but you still have a few good options here veracity gives you a little bit of stamina when you deliver the killing blow to a target sustainment and ascendancy increase your pawns defense and magic defense and strength and magic so also good options here like if you do want to buff your pawns in that way but i also like the thief subtlety to reduce your chance of being attacked by foes archer's lethality increases the damage dealt when striking a target's vitals which you should be doing right because you can lock onto the weak points and the sorcerer actually has some really good augments for this because of all the different elemental damage types we're doing the debilitations like you know setting enemies on fire etc that we can do so you've got like asperity to increase the likelihood of inflicting debilitations on your targets catalysts to increase the damage dealt when exploiting a target's elemental weakness so let's talk about some equipment here now after you have done the quest to unlock the magic archer you should go back to that dwarf's home as he does become a blacksmith and a vendor and he sells the dragon breath magic bow which is one of the best in the game and definitely you want to just grab this bow because of its insane amount of damage potential so you can then use that now armor wise you can kind of just wear whatever here like you want to upgrade your bow at the armor blacksmith for the extra magic you can even use that dwarven blacksmith just to get the extra knockback if you are leaning into like arctic bolt for example but really the extra magic is really important here for the bow because you are primarily going to be using the magic for all these magical arrows and conversely here for the ring right getting the ring that increases your magic even further is definitely valuable a couple of tips for the magic archer you need at least one melee fighter or warrior to protect you in combat so you want them to be attacking that character and you know you can use the to me command if you are being pressured to have your pawns come and protect you if enemies are actually attacking you you obviously don't want to be attacked directly you want to be sitting in the back line really dishing out damage in that way but because of the sheer amount of damage you do do you can often actually pull the aggro off your melee characters so just be mindful of that if you are struggling with that then having maybe two like a fighter and a warrior that both have the taunts might help you in some of those scenarios as well but there's not much else really to say about the magic archer right the basic attack is incredible it has really good skills both support and damage it's a fantastic vocation that i do highly recommend you guys checking out but let me know your thoughts in the comments down below thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is norza and i hope you have a great day